Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Tyler, what a day. It's nice to have you back here at it my is, desk. This is the first time. Did it a few days ago, but uh, first you know, time with me. Weekend. I've never seen you so excited. I'm on excited. Anchor desk, so animated. Well, we are too <laughs> because, you know, a week from today, we'll be doing the weather live from the Main Street. We block will. So I want to. really cool. Before we talk about that, though, I just wanted to give my friend Kirsten a shout out. We were at her bridal shower earlier today, and it literally was a shower. It sprinkled a little bit down in Duxbury, but didn't dampen the day. We had a nice time. Glad there wasn't a big storm and, and you're, you were just fine with a little shower because it could have been worse. We were worried that there may have been uh, some severe weather. Actually, Ben was here late just in case, but just a band of showers through northern areas. We need the rain, so it turned out just beneficial. These are the official highs, so most areas were under 90. We would have hit 90 in Burlington if we didn't have that shower. Did get there, though, in Lebanon and Keene. I think many of us are between 90 and 93 tomorrow, so just a little bit hotter, and it's also drier tomorrow. Just an outside chance for a shower or a storm. Most are dry. Some of these numbers here right now are impressive. It's still 77 in Essex, New York. We have 67 in Waterbury and Randolph there at 72. Lebanon still sitting at 68. So with just a little humidity, the temperatures overnight stay up. They just don't fall off. And that's an example of it tonight. Now there's still this little ribbon of showers here. No thunder, no heavy rain, but it's diving south and diminishing. I think we should be done with the rain, with this rain by sunrise tomorrow. Mostly dry off to the north and west. So we're sort of on the edge of this big warm spell. And I think tomorrow the edge of it lifts more into Canada. So that's why it's hotter by a little bit tomorrow and also mostly dry. Remember a town or two could see a shower, but that's just summer. That's how it goes. Most of us dry as we go through Sunday with the 90s. Monday, sunshine to start. And I think Monday is the hottest day in the stretch. Mid 90s, 96 or 97 in many spots. And that's before you even factor in the humidity, feeling more like 100 on Monday. So on the lake, great way to cool off tomorrow. But the water is still at 59, still chilly, but it's going up with the warm air. And when you look at the temperature trend going forward here, we're talking about the mid 90s for tomorrow, Monday especially, and then cooling off a little bit Tuesday and Wednesday. So tomorrow morning, mostly 60s with the humidity in the air. 90 in Milton tomorrow, 90 in Virgins, 92 for Burlington. Same thing along the Adirondack Coast south of Plattsburgh and for southern Vermont in Brattleboro coming in at 93. Again, most of us are dry tomorrow as well. On Monday, we're calling Monday impact weather because of the record heat and the humidity. It's not because of storms. But Tuesday and Wednesday, there will be some storms, especially Wednesday as a front goes through. And then it's drier and far more comfortable there for the second half of Jazz Fest, Liz.